Saturday night at FIU Stadium, the Golden Panthers took the field against the Arkansas State Red Wolves, trying to snap a two-game losing streak. Pick up the action in the second quarter. FIU with a 3-0 lead. Paul McCall out of the shotgun, and he's looking long for T.Y. Hilton. This one's going to cover 84 yards, and FIU will be set up in great field position. First and goal. They'll say he stepped out of the 10-yard line. The Golden Panthers would settle for a field goal to make it 6 nothing. After a one-yard Corey Leonard touchdown run gave Arkansas State a 7-6 to lead, here's Greg Ellingson taking the pass from Paul McCall for 43 yards into ASU territory. FIU would have to settle for a missed field goal attempt by Dustin Rivas, and 7-6 to would be your halftime score. We pick up the action now in the third quarter. Here's a 20 27-yard punt return by T.Y. Hilton, who leads the nation in all-purpose running per game at 198.7 per contest. We'll jump ahead to the fourth quarter. Here comes T.Y. Hilton in motion, the attempted end around, but he fumbles the ball, now sprints back to his left, wants to throw it, and finds a wide-open Junior Mertil waiting at the four-yard line. He'll carry it in for the go-ahead score, and the Golden Panthers lead 22-21. to Let's take another look at it. Hilton, his first career touchdown pass, he set a school record with 199 yards receiving. Second touchdown of the season for Junior Mertil. Now with just a minute and 13 seconds remaining in the ball game, Corey Leonard drops back to throw, and it's intercepted by Franklin Brown. FIU holds on to win by a point, 22-21. Field goal kicker Dustin Rivest sets a new school record with five field goals in one game.